Hey, what is up everyone? This is Radioactive Ra SNG with a very special video. So, as of recent, we found out that Sega will not be having a booth at E3. They will be at E3, but they will not be showcasing any games. So, that pretty much means that I'll only be covering uh, Nintendo related stuff for this E3 video. And I'm basically going to give him my predictions on what they'll be showing at E3. Now, before I actually begin, I want to say that this is not a video of what I want to see. I'm, this is a video of me saying realistically what I think Nintendo is going to show this year. So, um, yeah, um, this year there's been rumors that there's it's going to be a completely it's going to just be a game year for Nintendo. They're not going to be showing any new hardware at all. So we're going to have to see. So that's why I kind of compiled this uh this uh list of what I think is going to be there off of that. So we, I might be wrong, you know. It, it is a big rumor. So. Uh, with that being said, I always feel like Nintendo is the company um, out of the big three as far as uh, with um, releasing stuff at E3 and showing off things. Obviously, I think every company in their way does good. You know, biasly, people say this company, that company wins every year. But I did think Nintendo won last year. And um, perfect example is that not only did they win E3 last year, they actually executed afterwards really well. Um, we actually seen a lot of games that were shown at E3 actually release like within the, the next year's time span. So um, other companies, when they do that, we don't see these games for like maybe two years at some at some times. Like um, perfect example is uh, Sony a couple years ago when they announced the PS4. We didn't get Watch Dogs. We stood. We I don't think we've gotten uh, the new Final Fantasy game or Kingdom Hearts. Like they showed all that that year. We never seen any of it. So that's just a general idea of uh, how that goes. So without that, with, with that being said, why don't we get onto this list? First off, I think um, Zelda U is finally gonna get some hands-on footage. We've been seeing Zelda U since uh, last year. They announced it, and then we've seen it a couple times in uh, directs. And I think finally we're gonna get to see some kind of general hands-on gameplay from either Reggie or uh, Iwata, whoever. But I think we're finally going to get to see how it works, um, what the gimmicks will be. You know, every Zelda game these days tend to have some kind of gimmick as far as motion controls. And we do have the uh, Wii U tablet, so I'm interested to see what they're going to do with that. Like um, like the bow and arrow, I feel like it's going to be like it's gonna be like a gyroscope control thing because they did that with uh, Majora's Mask. So I just felt like with Majora's Mask, they're kind of giving us a preview of what we'll see from Zelda U. But... I may be wrong. Um, next thing in line is Star Fox U. We did get that announced last year as well with Zelda U. And we're going to get to see some hands-on footage of that as well. Maybe get to see some dog fighting between uh, Iwata and um, Reggie. You never know. Uh, I'm just going off of like what I think may happen. So I think that we might finally get to see some kind of footage of uh, Star Fox U. I'm actually really excited for this game in particular. Because I'm a big Star Fox fan as far as the uh, later games. Um... So I just really want to see what they're gonna do with Star Fox U. Maybe we can, maybe we'll see if like this is not just a um, a dog fighting game. It might be on foot like um, Star Fox Assault was. So yeah, that's that. Next in line is I think this is gonna be a big if right here. I think F Zero U is gonna get announced and we're gonna get a trailer. It's a big if. It either will happen or will or might not. I'm not sure. But uh, um, we've been getting all kind of, like, um, Miyamoto in general, he's been um, acknowledging the F-Zero fan base wanting a new game. So we could be seeing something pop up. You never know. Um, the announcement and the trailer, that's... I think if it does happen, we're just going to get those two things. Um, there's nothing really special. I don't think we're going to get any gameplay whatsoever. Just an announcement, like... Um, just like the CGI, bam, logo, and some kind of a nice little um, intro right there. So that's what I think might happen with F-Zero. Um, hopefully it would be great to see a new game come from that because I do like the F-Zero series as tough as those games are. They're actually really beautiful and really fun to play with friends. So that's why I like those games. All right, next in line, I think um, we're finally going to get that next main title Mario game. Um, there's going to be no actual footage, just an opening and... CGI. I think that we're just going to get some uh, nice visuals for this game as well, just like um, F-Zero U. But it would be nice just to get that next Mario game announced because we haven't had a um, true 3D Mario game for the Wii U yet. It's actually pretty weird that we're this far in the Wii U's lifespan and we have not gotten a true uh, game, a true 3D Mario game. But 
you know, people are going to say Mario Galaxy 3 is going to be there. I doubt it. But if it happens, then I wouldn't be surprised as well. But um, yeah, um, hopefully we get that next main title Mario game, 3D Mario game. And I'm actually, if they do, I want to see what it, the theme is going to be because we had games like Sunshine and then we had Galaxy. So what are they going to do next if they do a 3D Mario game? All right. And while we're still on the topic of Mario, I think since Mario Maker is not out yet, I, I, they haven't given an official date, but I'm going to assume that it's going to come out around September just because the original Mario did come out um in that September area, um, maybe a little bit earlier for Japan, but I think in America we're gonna get this game around September-ish. So um, this game is really coming close to being uh, released, you know, the summer and whatnot. I feel like we're gonna get a few more things added in. We've seen almost everything they've shown us. Um, everything that they've shown us, they, I feel like they're still gonna pop something in on us. I feel like we haven't gotten everything. I don't think they're just gonna show everything this early and uh the game's development i feel like there's still maybe some new stuff that's going to be added uh some new features maybe some new gimmicks that we haven't seen yet just some small stuff we don't know exactly what yet there's all kind of stuff in the mario series uh when you think about mario 3 and mario world and all the other 2d mario games that kind of had things going um but that's that i think there may be some new features some new modes that they're going to announce because i don't think we've gotten a official um word that we'll be able to share our stages with uh people like actually share it like i think you can put it on an sd card they said i don't remember how that went so don't quote me on that but also i think that we may be getting a new skin now i'm not 100 percent sure i'm going on a whim on this one maybe a zelda nes skin that'd be actually pretty cool but that's just a big if you know um, second in line, I think we may get a Mario 2 skin. Now, Mario Mario 2 is the most distinct out of any 2D Mario game, in my opinion. Just because, you know, it's not re even really a Mario game. But at this point, after Captain Toad and 3D World, Mario 2 is basically accepted as what it is, you know. So I feel like, um, since we have Mario 1, Mario 3, and Mario World, um actual skins we may be getting two because two is actually pretty distinct in its design but um that's what i think and then finally i think we may be getting a super mario all-stars uh skin now this is a big if because um super mario all-stars was four different mario games in one technically three because one and lost levels were the same thing almost as far as skins I think we may get something as far as us uh, as far as skins with that because Mario 1 on that game is actually pretty beautiful and it'd be pretty stupid if we just get Mario 1 on NES we get all these 8-bit graphics and then we get Mario World which would be the only 16-bit uh, stage I would think that it'd be smart to have um, Mario Mario 1 remake on SNES on Super Mario All-Stars as a skin as well but that's just my opinion maybe maybe not um, and then maybe since Mario 3 maybe because it'd be actually pretty easy to do if they've done the NES Mario 3 I think they can do the uh, SNES Mario 3 just because it's literally just recolor and everything but that is pretty much that for Mario Maker I think that we're gonna get some new skins that's as far as I think that's what's left for this game maybe a new mode but I think there's gonna be something extra added into this game now next in line is uh, Yoshi's Woolly World we haven't heard anything about this game since last year got announced i'm wondering what the heck they're doing with yoshi's woolly world because um we don't hear anything about it uh, actually we haven't heard anything about it until recent um with the latest direct um they actually announced the um yoshi amiibo i'm not even sure what the release date for the game is it may come before e3 uh but i highly doubt it but if so we may get um an actual trailer and some gameplay and then um, I think that's as far as they're going to go with it. You know, I don't think they, they're, they're going to actually acknowledge the game because we haven't seen anything about it. It sounds like a few bits, bits and pieces of the uh, actual game. But I think we're going to actually get like a full blown trailer and show off like some gimmicks and stuff. You know how that goes with that. And uh, yeah, next in line is Mario and Sonic 2016. We're just going to get a simple trailer for this one because this game is pretty much, you know how this goes with the Mario Olympic Games, Mario and Sonic Olympic Games. Um, every other year we get we get a Mario, a Mario and Sonic Olympic game. It's pretty much confirmed. We don't have to really expect anything from it, but we, I think um, 
we're gonna actually get a trailer for this and um just kind of show what the game is gonna offer you know maybe show off like uh, some of the events and stuff i actually like the 2014 game um i thought that was a pretty fun game you know i like the winter games more than the uh, summer ones but um i thought that game was definitely a move in the right direction so i think this game is gonna actually be pretty good now i think as far as that that is pretty much all the uh, main new stuff that's going to be coming out um there, like i said i don't think there's going to be any new hardware as it's been rumored and it would be smart not to have it because uh the nx is going to be a thing in a couple of years and then um we just got the new 3ds uh so it'd be pretty stupid to announce any new hardware in my opinion but um yeah last but not least i think the 3ds is finally going to get that gb the gba virtual console console announcement it'd be pretty smart to do it at this point you know the wii u does have it i'm not sure why they put it on wii u and not 3ds because people have been begging their butts off for this on the 3ds for the longest i think we'll finally get that announcement since the 3ds is kind of uh getting closer to its to the end of its uh, life cycle but you know nintendo would be smart to do that since uh, it would definitely help get some more sales so yeah just emulating putting it on the 3ds would be pretty smart um so yeah all right next thing in line i think there will be a new 3ds exclusive title announced i'm not even sure what this title may be but i'm thinking like something i'm thinking simple with this don't think of me thinking this game's gonna be on there but i'm thinking along the lines of super mario galaxy on the 3ds now i think um I think it'd be pretty smart to have a simple game like that because it's very relatable relatable I think people would really love to have a game like that on the 3ds and it would definitely make people want to buy the new 3ds to have it to play Mario Galaxy 1 and 2 on the go so um, with that being said I'm not I'm not 100% sure if it if it even would be Mario Galaxy but I think it'd be like how we had Xenoblade Chronicles I think it'd be another Wii to 3ds game and that might kick off a wii to 3ds series for the new 3ds because i think xenoblade chronicles is doing pretty well as far as uh generating new 3ds cells um but we'll just have to see how that goes and um last but not least this one's gonna be a stretch as always but i think we're gonna either get that skyward sword hd which is what i personally want or we're gonna get twilight princess hd for the wii u now, um, we've been getting rumors that Twilight Princess was on 3DS, which was pretty stupid. I'm pretty sure the 3DS can't run at that game. <laughs> but um, with that being said, the creator of um, the guy who worked on, on Wind Waker HD, he was actually saying he would like to try Skyward Sword or Twilight Princess as his next uh, project as far as HD remakes because those games have really distinct art styles. Now, personally, like I said, I would rather Skyward Sword because um, I always felt that game really needs some kind of controller support. I like Skyward Sword. I actually really, really like the game, but I don't like motion controls in general. So it'd be great to actually play that game um, with actual controls and maybe some kind of new gimmick, you know, with the, um, the Wii U the tablet and whatnot so that is pretty much all of my um thoughts what i think will be coming to the uh what nintendo will be bringing to e3 uh like i said don't take it as me as what i want i think this is maybe along the lines of what we might get but that's pretty much everything what do y'all want to see and what do you think will be at e3 now I'll leave that in the comments down below that'd be highly appreciated and also leave a like that'd be highly appreciated let's see if we can get this video 225 likes and uh yeah that is pretty much it so i hope y'all enjoyed this video hope y'all can leave some comments as to what you'd like to see and also subscribe and until then peace out you have a good night